Hey, it's Baz here back with another YouTube video. And uh, topic of the day uh, is Seagate Story ex expansion card for the Xbox Series S and Series X price. So let's get to it. So we have got most of the information going on the this new generation of console, next generation of consoles coming. So obviously we've got our pre-orders there just recently. Um, so we know obviously the price and the release date now. Um, we know pretty much the lineup of games that's going to be available. And so everybody's starting to decide what they're maybe going to buy or not buy. Um, one of the other things is a lot of people's minds is obviously the storage in the new consoles isn't great compared to... Not well, it was supposed to begin the last generation or great either, but they sort of got I mean well as you get better versions later on. But obviously with the new consoles there's gonna be expansion slots and storage options available, you know, where you're on an Xbox or a PlayStation. But anyway, this is place this is about all about the Xbox anyway, this 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 wee video. So they have just recently there's an a, a price floating about, and I think it has been confirmed, I'm not really sure it has. So US dollars is gonna be two hundred and twenty US dollars. And if you convert that to pounds, you're talking on around the same money, probably you know, give or take a five or maybe ten or at the most, you know, you're you're going to be talking between two hundred to two twenty, somewhere on around that, you know, until we get the price for the UK confirmed. But that that's just one of the th final things I've been sort of waiting on just to see the price of them, and that's one of the things I made a wee, I've done a video over there, and that, that's why I sort of spec that it's going to be at least two hundred pounds, because at least you know. But there was a rumor a while back that it could be in as low over here as one hundred and fifty nine pounds in the UK. But I was, you know, like if if you look at the price of SSDs, NVMEs, and their slower speeds than even what these are, I know the the PlayStation Five and all is faster. But even if you're getting speeds that's consistent and you know with what the play what the Xbox is capable of, you know if if you know you know lower sp speed ones are and obviously they're not quite as dear these because these are designed and you know made for microsoft but if you, if you take the price say for example you're going for a samsung um nine i think it's the 970 it's the last generation not the new one's just been announced but the one before it and obviously it's a that's a what do you call it, pci3 slot but the speeds are not far in around that you know obviously the the, you know, it's, that's 2,400 for this here, plus then again, a couple of 4,800 megabytes per second. But even with that Samsung, the speeds weren't, you know, they can go up and dip and down, they can go up and down, whereas these drives are designed to maintain that speed throughout, you know, and to design for the heat and to keep it run efficiently at that speed as best as possible. Whereas you're buying a cheaper drive then you know say you're buying a drive say at 100 and samsung one's about 170 pound here in the uk roughly they go up and down fuck shit you know depending on if sales are on but them drives are not maintaining that speed they go up and down they fluck shit you know what i mean so you're not if you know so if you take 170 pound plus another 30 to 50 quid on top you know for you know something that's built and designed and engineered the way it's need to be for that console to me some people probably disagree and will probably get hit over this, but I, I, don't, I don't think that's a lot extra for what, you know, getting, if you're getting this efficient and, you know, it's getting the maximum speed possible out of it and it's designed for the console. I was thinking in around that money, to be honest with you, and, you know, this just confirms it for me. So, you know, um, yeah, I, that, that's just my only thoughts and stuff. Obviously, it is still quite a dear price if you're having to buy your console at four hundred and fifty pound or five hundred dollars, and you throw on another two, two twenty or two hundred plus pound on top of it. You know, it brings the price of the console up. But look, if you need the storage, there is other options and stuff that you can do. So this is just one of the things that you can do. So it is. But I might actually do an RV video on that, the different options of what you can do, because Jason Ronald has done an interview interview there recently. And he has outlined, you know, when they went through talking about this drive and the architecture and how, you know, how it works and the options available for other people who maybe are on a tighter budget. So I might get through that myself in another video. Um, but here, that's just my few wee thoughts on it. And I'll probably not pick one of these up at the start. I'll work with what I've got because obviously, you know, PlayStation 5 is coming out and the new Series X is coming out as well. So at that stage, it'll be enough to get at that stage. So, 
probably next year and down the line a wee bit. Um, that'd be a good thing to get and try out and see what way it works and all and to review for the channel as well. But here, I'm um, going to stop the rant now, but yeah, I think it'd be good. Add more storage to your console. They will come down in price, so if you're somebody who's wanting one but maybe not in a hurry, you know, wait, wait till next year. They'll be sale, come on, you know. But here, if you like the content, if you like the video that I've made today or any other videos, please like, subscribe. And if you want to be notified of any other videos, hit that wee bell notification. And I'll see you all soon. See you later. Bye.